Johnny Cash, what do you think about this video? Yeah. Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today we are trying out a pin curl set pattern. So I got this set pattern from my friend Sarah on Instagram and her handle is pinup curl. She posted a photo of a lovely page boy and the set pattern, pin curl set pattern that goes with that. So I thought it would be fun to try it out and do the pin curl pattern and set it and see how the brush out went and see if I could get it into a page boy like what the article showed. So yeah, if you wanna see me try out that pattern and get this brush out, then stick around. Okay, here we go. My hair is freshly washed. I actually just got it cut and colored. So we will get started. A few things I am using, some vintage pin curl clips. You don't have to get vintage ones. Um, that's just what I have. And also a lot of body setting spray. So I have that in that spray bottle and we are sectioning off. I took the bottom section of my hair. I feel like it's easier to start that way first. So it isolates the hair and now I am taking small sections and I'm twisting them around my fingers. You can do like around one finger or two fingers. I should have done one finger for this, especially for this bottom section, um, because two fingers ends up being a little bit, a little bit too loose. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Um, also, sorry for the orange on my neck and temples, but like I said, I just did get my hair dyed, so that's why. So following the pattern that was in the picture, I am rolling the curls kind of like split down the middle and then rolling them towards each ear, if that makes sense, like wrapping the circle around facing yeah each way depending on the side so like rolling it forward towards my face and I apologize that that's not easier to see what I'm doing but hopefully that makes sense um, and now for this top section it showed standing pin curls and so this section I rolled them up towards the middle and then um, yeah, see as you can see, and then pin them standing up, so that gives it a little more volume. And then this last section, uh, standing pin curls rolled them down towards the other section that I just did. As you can see, I had some trouble keeping the ends in to the rolls, and you will see that when I turn around here in a minute as well. And I just went through, I didn't saturate each section with the setting spray, I just gave each section a little mist so it was damp. Hey, that took a long time and a lot of energy. <laughs> uh, okay, so see, as you can see, there's a few of those straight end pieces that are sticking out. You don't want that, that's a problem. Um, but alas, I did not look at the back in a mirror, so I did not know that that was a problem. <laughs> so now I am just putting on a hair scarf, just fold it into a triangle, and tie it around, and then I'm just gonna tuck those ends under. And now it is time for bed. Okay, so life happened, and the next day I ended up not taking off <laughs> the hair scarf and taking out the pin curls. So I actually went two days with these in, so I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. And 
It ended up actually being just fine. I was worried, but they were actually okay. And I did have some inconsistencies, like I said, with those ends that I didn't get all the way um, rolled. So there's some straight pieces um, in the set that I had to deal with with a curling iron. So I will show you that as well. That's how the back looks. First I went in with my wet brush just to give it a quick loose brush through. And it was already looking pretty good just on the initial brushing. You can see that it is kind of already taking shape into a page boy, so that's great. I'm adding some pomade. This is just a Garnier one. Um, you can really use just whatever you like. And I decided to put that in to smooth the hair down because with a page boy, you want a really smooth style. So now I am going to take my tail comb and do some teasing. So I'm just sectioning little small sections at the top and using my Get Layered hairspray to give that some, give that tease some hold just because like I said my hair is just freshly um, washed and dyed so it's quite soft. Now I'm taking my back combing brush and this is the Spornet Little Wonder. And I am smoothing over that tease. <laughs> and it got quite big. <laughs> so now time for some duck bill clips. I'm just sticking those in to hold the shape. And using that get layered hairspray to work as I go. So the way that those curls were rolled um, kind of like in towards each other made that little S wave form really easily. Like it just already wanted to do that, which was pretty cool. And now I'm just taking those deck bow clips and putting them along that ridge. Again, to hold that shape that I want. I decided to add a little bit of teasing on that side as well, just to give it a little bit of volume there. And now, here's where I found the straight pieces. <laughs> so I just fished those out and I took my three quarter barrel, three quarter inch barrel curling iron and just gave those pieces a little curl so that they would blend in with the rest of the set. And then I took my back combing brush and I did a little bit of teasing underneath the hair and now I'm just kind of working through shaping as I go with that back combing brush and just kind of combing it around my hand and kind of just shaping it into the shape that I want. So as you can see it just takes a little Bit of like kind of working with it and going over it with the brush and the hairspray 
and just kind of fiddling with it until it, it goes into the shape that you want. And also, that other side, just backcombing it a little bit again. And just kind of shaping it around by feel for the back. And this set was actually really great at kind of getting the hair to where it would just wanted to do what you wanted, like it wanted to be in that shape, which was great. And this left side took a little bit more fiddling, but it got there. I'm just kind of like doing it by touch, just feeling for gaps and stuff and smoothing it. And then I took my tail comb to see if that would help this little section a little bit more. And there you can see I'm kind of getting it to where it has those two little open curls on the side. And now that I've got the style I like, I'm going in with the... Um, to solidify the style with the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. And that's going to just kind of lock it in. Now you can see the back. It actually ended up pretty well, even just without looking in the mirror. And I'm taking out those duck bill clips. And adding a little bit more hairspray where I felt like it needed it. And then I decided to add a little bobby pin right there because I liked the way that that curl looked and I didn't want it to like droop down. And here is the finished look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I was impressed with how rolling the pin curls a certain way actually really made your hair set want to lay in that shape, which I mean, who would have known? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this fun little hair tutorial slash experiment with a vintage pin curl pattern. And I, I'm happy with it. I think it went really well. I'm excited to try more of these different pin curl set patterns and see if I can get different hair looks depending on the way that I set it with the pattern of the pin curls. I think that will be fun. So uh, yeah, just let me know, shoot me a message. If you have a pin curl pattern that you want me to try out, then I would be happy to. So yeah, let me know in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. I am over there at Lacey Faye and I post there pretty much every day. So if you want more of the Vintage Girl Next Door, you're going to want to check out my Instagram and follow me there as well. And if you have not subscribed to this channel already, please do so. I'd love to have you stick around for more of our vintage fun. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!